To make the conditions for the experiment authentic, it's got to be carried out in open water, teeming with adult sharks. Philippe and Tooney will dive in amongst the sharks and release the repellent by hand. There are some big sharks down there, actually. They're a good, a good couple of metres, which I don't think I was quite expecting. I was expecting slightly smaller sharks, to be perfectly honest. Caribbean reef and black tip aren't the most aggressive of sharks, but the chumming has attracted quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the small one at the back is seven. That's bizarre. That makes my heart go a bit funny. It's a quite a bizarre sensation to be sitting on the side of a boat about to sort of drop backwards into a, into a pool of team, teaming with sharks. Safety divers and first aiders are standing by. Oh! Oh my goodness! Sharks everywhere. All around us. This is just incredible! Oh god, it's having a good look at me. That was close. Shark chaos. More and more sharks are gathering. This should be the stuff that really scares them off. It's essentially distilled tissue from sharks, from dead sharks. Scientists realized sharks are driven away by the smell of rotting shark. As you can see, they're kind of circling us a lot right now. But you can see them getting a little bit ticked off at each other, a little bit aggressive towards each other. Philippe and Tooney decide to release the repellent. This is the first time that this repellent has been tested like this. This isn't a game. This is serious business. Sharks have a very acute sense of smell, but it takes a few minutes for the liquid to disperse. One by one, the sharks leave. They keep us swimming further and further away from us. Clearly, they didn't like something. All the other fish are still here. But the sharks disappeared. They're not showing much signs of coming back either. The experiment's been a complete success and could play a vital role in protecting sharks in all our oceans. Oh. Fantastic. The sharks kind of do a, an in, sense something and out again. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I just say that I smell of shark repellent. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's really quite disgusting. <laughs> I think it's a great, great piece of science. It could be impregnated into wetsuits or sunscreens. And it's just, it's like widening the gap, I think, between sharks and people. I think this is how science can come together to have a have practical applications for conservation. And ultimately, we have healthier, more sustainable oceans.